KCTV5 stands for you, and we continue to track the very latest regarding the COVID-19 vaccine. This morning, we have a good question from one of our viewers, Narita Taylor, asking, why is the new COVID-19 vaccine reported as 95% effective, but yearly flu vaccines are said to be far less? Narita, that's a great question. And first, you have to understand the difference between vaccine effectiveness and efficacy. Now, effectiveness is used to measure vaccine success in a real world setting. This, of course, can only be done for vaccines that we've seen in the real world. Illnesses that have been around for quite some time. Think flu, polio, chickenpox, or measles. Researchers look at how much the vaccine reduces the incidence of cases among people who get vaccinated relative to those who do not. The greater that reduction, the greater the effectiveness. Now, let's talk about efficacy. Now that is the success rate in an ideal setting or a clinical trial run by researchers. Since coronavirus is so new, this is the only means of measuring its success so far. Big difference than what we might see in the real world. And now let's give you a look at the actual numbers this morning from the CDC. Vaccine effectiveness for the flu based on yearly averages from 2009 to 2019, a 10-year period, 44% effective. That's much lower compared to the coronavirus efficacy rate of about 94.1 for Moderna and 95 for Pfizer. There's two reasons for that. First, remember, COVID vaccine numbers come from controlled clinical settings, and the flu is, again, based off of what's happening in the real world, our communities. And the second most important reason for the gap, the one you need to remember, viruses mutate at different speeds. For the flu, the strands change often, sometimes year to year. That ends up under undermining people's immunity, and it allows people who get the vaccine to still easily get sick in some cases. But unlike the flu, COVID is mutating at a very, very, very slow rate, meaning the current vaccine will likely work long term. Because of that, in the end, coronavirus's vaccine effectiveness does have potential to be extremely high each year, though we will have to wait and see. Now, if you have a good question, we'd love to look into it. Be sure to email me at goodquestion at kctv5.com. 